of the things that changed my life in a big way is to realize that my source is God, that it wasn't an employer. One time I got released from an employer and I thought, uh-oh, what is going to happen now? I have no paycheck that will be coming in. Here's what the Bible says. It says, but my God shall supply all your needs according to God's riches in glory by Christ Jesus. In Philippians 4.19, it says, my God. It says, my God shall supply all your needs. It doesn't say the U.S. government. It doesn't say your job or your business will do it. It says, my God will do it. Now, it may come through those other channels, but realize, never forget the source. So, if someone lets you down, it doesn't really matter because God never lets you down. You're always connected to your source. God will also often, oftentimes use a human being as the means, but God is the source. All other sources are instruments only. Now, it also says, shall supply. This is said in the most positive way. A need exists, a need will be met. Shall supply. God shall supply all your need. Now, shall is a strong word in the Bible. It means absolutely without any hesitation. In other words, in the moment of your need, in the very moment, God shall supply promise goes into effect for you. Your needs, no matter what they are, they are a legitimate claim that you have on God's limitless resources to be met in full. You give God your best, and God says in Luke 6.38, then ask God for God's best. This is from Scripture. And when done with a sincere heart, God moves. All of your need. This says that God doesn't give you in part God doesn't supply just a little bit. All of your needs will be met. Whatever your need is, God came to meet that need. All your need includes everything that you need. I pray that right now you expect a miracle. That right now, according to God's riches, you expect a miracle. Right now, I pray that according to the riches of God, that this comes into your life without hesitation. Because God is going to be there. God is going to be with you. God is going to supply you with all that you need every moment of the day. And I pray that you realize this, because realization is important. It is an acceptance. You have to, in your free will, accept and say yes to this. Do not put on the brake yourself. Do not say, no, no, that's too good for me. You accept it. Not because you desire a gift, but you desire the fruit that may abound to your account as it says in Philippians 4, verse 17.